Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Forest, Alpha Blind. It's a lovely sunrise, uh, a new day has arisen, and lots of stuff going about again. Wait a second, I thought I put more armor on. Where is my armor? There we go, full armor, yeah. Um, that seagull is on fire and that, oh my god, I've created a seagull death trap. Bloody hell, okay. Well, last time we've decided that uh, we had enough of the cannibals. And we've created quite a few Molotovs here. And actually, I could create some of these as well. What did I need? This and coins, right? And something else. What did I need? I can't remember. Oh yeah, I think I needed more uh, bottles to create bombs. Well, maybe we, yeah, we can certainly find some. There we go. Lots of bottles here. Uh, let's see if we can make those as well. Yes, we can. There we go. Bombs. <laughs> um, more. Don't really know if you can use this for anything else, but I'm gonna stock up on bombs and and Molotovs. So there. Yeah. You're gonna see hellfire now, cannibals. Hellfire. I've got an axe. My stomach is pretty full. I've got a whole Arnold arsenal of bombs and molotovs on me. Just gotta find your stupid little cave. That's a lot of... Huh. I'm gonna take that. If I survive, I'm going to plant them, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, this is quite nice. Well, there's the uh, there's the camp. There's no fish here, as far as I can remember. So there's nothing of interest here except that uh, broken boat, which also doesn't help us. Ah, that might be a. F uh oh, no fish here. Oh, bloody hell! Jeez. Yeah, this is not... Ow! You little... Ow! Little bastard! Already took my armor away. Well, some of it. I'm not gonna stand for that. Ow! Oh, for Pete's sake, look at them! They took all of my armor just like that. That is really ridiculous. Well, screw the armor then. Ow. I don't like the look of where I'm hitting him. Ugh. Right, and now I've sort of lost my orientation. Ah. So there's no fish here. Let's wash off to avoid infection. There we go. Um, let's find their stupid cave. Now where would it be? Probably somewhere near the crash site, I think. Because every time I got captured and gotten out of the cave, I was sort of near the crash site, I guess. Should be on a slope like this, I guess. Why do I keep saying, I guess? I don't know, I guess. Um, this looks like it could, there could be an entrance here. Are there any fish here? No. No. Right. Must be an entrance here somewhere. I wonder if it's even visible from the outside if you don't get captured. I guess it should be, but... Yeah. I have no clue. Hmm. Well, there's another pool here. And it does not have any fish. Oh, yes, it does have fish. It does have fish. Uh, I have... I, I think I can carry one more. There we go. Can't carry any more raw fish. Alright, that's fair enough. I won't then. But where would the, uh... Where would the entrance be? Hmm. Ah, I mean, it's quite a pretty forest, but, uh... Yeah. Well, there's one of those stupid little houses. There's nothing here. 
I don't suppose they're there. No. And I'm still confused. If these guys actually live in the caves, are these their houses? I mean, or are these survivor houses? Oh, hello there. You're dead. Hmm. Oh. Whoa! No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, two at a time. Oh, I'm Arnold! You will pay! Ah. 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 What? She. Oh, she's going over there. She was rather quick. I am Arnold. You will die! Yeah. So there. I wanted to look at this guy. What the hell is that? Oh, that's just a weird sound. I thought it was like a machine or something. Right, so that's useless. There's nothing here. Hmm. Oh, hello, hello another lizard. Darn it. Yeah, I've kind of lost where I need to go now. This is going to be... <coughs> of course. Of course. Give me entrances. Oh. No. Damn it. I thought I was promising. But no, nope, no entrance here. Yeah, I'm not even sure if I'll find it. Also, strange, uh, whenever I got killed before, I was usually... There's another guy dead there. I was usually, you know, put there into the cave as a prisoner or something, and now they just kill me. I guess they realized how dangerous I am. Wait a second. This looks familiar. And what is all this? Is that... Ah. Wait a second, this looks like a... Like a sacrificial altar or something. Well, maybe not. It certainly looks as if where they are, um... You know, that the they gather here or something. Let's just eat a little bit. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I don't have the sticks for this. There's a nice little lizard here. Come on, I just need sticks. Really? Did that give me sticks? No. Brilliant. Oh, come on, I just need a few sticks. No, that's not gonna give me sticks either. Excuse me. Um, well, I guess I'm gonna get some of these then. These will give me sticks. Come on. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. I can cook that lizard, I guess. And, uh, yeah. Making a nice little meal. Because I'm getting low on energy and uh, hunger as well. There we go. And put that lizard on there. Mmm. Tasty. Take back the axe so I don't multiply it. Have that armor on as well. I don't really know why he looks at his hand. I'm My, my guess is that uh, in the future... They will add that when you add um, armor to yourself. What the hell are these birds doing? They're gonna be burned. Yeah, when you add uh, armor to yourself in the future, you will actually see it reflected on your character. So, you know, like you will... Look at this! These birds are suicidal! What the hell? Go away, bird! Don't burn yourself. My god, look at them. It's too much to watch. I can't watch that. I like birds. Um, anyway... Yeah, I assume that, you know, he'll show you his hand and... Oh, look how much armor I have. I'm Arnold now. I'm a tank. Nothing can, kick, uh, can kill me now. So, yeah, I can't really find the entrance to that stupid cave. I have a feeling we won't find it. For some reason, I have a feeling like... It only spawns the cave... When you get captured or something. Well, I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. These are probably poisonous. <coughs> yeah, yeah, they are. And that actually took my armor away. Lovely. It's like in real life. You walk through a forest, you eat something poisonous, and instead of actually hurting you, it uh, sort of undresses you. Because it damages your clothes. Yes, that's how it works. Well, this looks uh, like an interesting area. See, I mean, this is the inherent problem. 
um, with games like these. I mean, this is all nice and pretty to look at for a little bit, but after a while, it just becomes what it is. It's a forest. I mean, it's not an alien world where everything is new and exciting. We've all been to a forest, I assume. Well, at least once in our lifetimes. And if you haven't been, then I have no bloody clue what, well, what the hell you're doing or where the hell you live. In a bloody desert? Oh, I might die over here. That's not a good idea. Oh, well, this is interesting. Bye. Um, yes, I, ugh, I don't want to die. I thought that could be a cave entrance over here. Okay. Ugh. So he somehow made it down this by just walking. Very old tree stump. Well, this is kind of cool. Would be nice to have a house here. I could make two houses. Yeah, another one. Ooh, this looks very deep. Bloody hell, yeah. Ugh, spooky. Um, hmm. There's nothing here. Wonderful. Are you saying now I'll have to swim all the way back? Oh, man. Well, no, I could go up those rocks again, but... Ugh. Yeah, that's that's quite spooky. No, I can't go underwater again for some reason. Well, hopefully he's not going to just start drowning all of a sudden. That would be a bit crummy. Yeah, but I, I can't find those uh, caves again. A bit disappointing, to say the least. I wanted to see those ugly mutants again. And, uh... Yeah, throw a few molotovs of them, even though I have a nasty feeling that at the moment in these builds, in this current version, they're still invulnerable. Which is a bit of a shame, because, well, they're not exact. they wouldn't exactly be very difficult to kill in their current iteration, because they're absolutely flabbergasted if you walk right up to them and start strafing them. Oh, there is a lone rock over there on that little piece of land, I think. Can we actually walk up here? Yes, we can, and we can walk faster. That is excellent. Yeah, there's a rock there. Ugh, I don't even want to go in there. Ugh, don't kill yourself by falling into the water. Yeah, th that is kind of spooky. You can hear the underwater stuff. You can see the underwater stuff. It's like cell shaded. <laughs> it's amusing. Right, so, um, yeah. Still sounds as if we are walking on grass. And we're not making any real progress here. So I have to get out of the water and walking as soon as possible. Otherwise, we're gonna die here. We're gonna spend eternity in the water and become a dolphin. Actually, that wouldn't be such a bad idea here. We could avoid the cannibals altogether. Just become a dolphin, swim away. If anyone remembers that age-old game, uh, Eco, I think it was, by Sierra Online. That was rather amusing, an, an adventure game that I played as a kid and never got for, past f uh, the first room, I think. <laughs> I still remember that you could uh, look at the rug, I think, which was a rug of the world or something. And if you clicked on different parts of the world, you would get different greetings. And the one that struck me the most as a kid was Konnichiwa. Come on, get up. There we go. Who? That's a strange sound. Hmm. See, this looks like a perfect place for a cave entrance. But alas, it is not to be. Well, that was a waste of my bloody time and yours. Why are you still watching this? It's a waste of time. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to find a cave and kill them all. I mean, is that too much to ask these days? Oh, well, this is kind of different. It's very sort of a very large village thing. Don't tell me I was already here just a few minutes ago. These are probably poisonous. <coughs> yes, they are. Hmm. Yeah, well, this doesn't help me, does it? 
Ugh. Yeah, it's, the, the music and everything is trying to make it scary, but... I don't know. Ugh. Well, they certainly nicely redecorated this tree with uh, various uh, lovely decorations. Oh, hello there. What are you looking at? You're you're kind of split open. I'm sorry to say. Kind of split open. Not really sure how rigor mortis can um, set in on this in this pose, but I guess there's a yeah there's a rope missing here. And the music is horribly loud. There's no setting for it. Oh yeah, it's these guys. They like tennis balls. Yay. Oh bloody hell. No, I didn't want to take that. Okay, I did. Okay. Ooh! What? I'm gonna die if I... Jump through here, aren't I? No, I'm not getting in here. It's the entrance to the void. I was, I was almost excited. I thought to myself, Wow! An entrance to their cave! But no, it's just a temporal paradox. Breaking time-space continuum, tearing space and time apart to form a horrible black hole into the void of nothingness and, and super-dimensional d destruction with fire and plasma, yes. Because plasma is good, and fire is also nice. Yeah, well this looks cool, but uh, yeah, no cave entrance. Well, I suppose there's nothing else to do but uh, return... Well, actually, come to think of it, I haven't even found the plane yet. Well, this is kind of a nice place to put your house. Quite a nice view from there. <sighs> I ran too much. This is a triathlon. Or triathlon, or whatever it's called in English. Hmm... This could have a cave entrance somewhere. But I have a feeling it does not. Hmm. Well, if you... You can hear the sound effects. I think they're only sound effects of the, uh... <coughs> of the wind. Oh, never mind. I thought it was the sound effect inside the cave, but... Well, why are all these cannibals dead over here? That's kind of odd. Have they been killed by survivors? Have they been killed by those... Uh, smile! Cheese! Have they been killed by... Um, <clears throat> those monsters inside? I mean, are the monsters and cannibals in league? Are they the, the product of the same... Virus or whatever is going on? Supernatural thing? Wow, it's very dark. And we're gonna be very dead if we fall down here. Ugh, yeah. We're gonna die if we uh, fall down there. Well, the nice thing is they haven't implemented... ...slopes, or so to speak, yet. Because you can just walk up any slope you want. It doesn't matter what kind of a slope it is. So that's kind of nice and practical. And I'm just going to head back to my house because there's absolutely nothing to see here. Except the pretty, uh, sunset. Oh, oh. Ah, uh, it was just an optical illusion. <sighs> See, now I'm upset. Um, but yeah, come to think of it, I still haven't yet found the crash site. So there might... There might be hope yet. So I'm guessing the island isn't as small as, uh... I was under the impression... It was. Oh well. Well, here's the fishing pond. We don't need that. <sighs> Let's eat a snack. Nom 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 nom. So we can keep running. Yeah, well, th this will also lead us to the crashed plane. Which is actually right here. That is a very pretty sunset, I have to say. Very pretty. Well, actually, I can uh, I can take some more of these regenerating um, circuit boards for more bomb action. 
Yeah. Oh well. Speed back to home. Um, set course for home. Maximum warp. Engage. Or something. Yes. Engage. Well, our lovely, lovely home is there. And it, it really looks rather snazzy, doesn't it? With that lovely wall, the seaside, all the um, exquisite decorations I've put in. It's, it's brilliant. I mean, look at it. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Well, thank you for watching. In any case, we're going to find out what we can do next time. Bye-bye.